is a drive with me video. I got 20 minutes. I'm on my way to the folks place and we gonna talk. Just because I got a video going don't mean I need to stop paying attention to my surroundings. Cause in my city, it only takes one second to get smacked by an idiot not following traffic rules. Over here, um, you don't drive for you. You drive for everybody else 100% of the time, or at least where I live. So like, I'm less worried about me. I'm more worried about everybody else. Cause if I'm not watching everybody else, they're gonna do something crazy and they're gonna get me messed up. And I'm in a pretty good spot. Like 2020 of the first three to four months has treated me pretty gosh darn freaking good. I mean, th things are going great. Besides all this corona stuff, things are going pretty awesome. Um, update on my city. I know it's different for like every other place, but um, Waffle House has closed. Planet Fitness was open for a certain period of time at first, but now all the gyms have closed. I don't know what the hotels are doing. Up, oh, the hotels are closed too. I saw a huge sign from the highway. So, just about everybody's closing down, except for where I work at for some reason. I guess because it has a lot to do with food. I don't really work too much, but I thought that they would, you know, shut down for about a week or two like everybody else. Like, you would think my place was shut down before BMW, but apparently people care about food more than they care about cars. So, no big deal. But um, yeah, I'm noticing um, increasingly as the days go by, things are getting um, well. Not person, not on a personal level, but like around me wise, things are getting worse increasingly as the days go by. Um, there is a plus side though. Gas down here is one dollar and sixty cents. Woo! Only twenty dollars to fill my tank up. But um. Besides that, life update, nothing's really changed too much. Um, we've grown a little bit on here, online presence wise. I've recorded a little bit of music, so I'll probably be dropping a little bit of something, something, something. Not, not too big of a deal. Not gonna put too much pressure on it. Not gonna put too much promo behind it. But gonna drop a little bit of music. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to collab a little bit more often. But um, I have trouble finding other creators that are in the same local area as me. I see a ton of them, but hardly any of any of blah, blah, hardly any of them take um, take recording serious. Even though it's all fun and, and you know it's funny as well, it's all fun. Um, but not too many people take it serious enough to where they'll actually get together with me and do a video. Some, there, I'm not even gonna lie, there are some creators locally here that I even offered to pay. I even offered to pay them money to collaborate with me. Just for one video. They still flake out on me. It's crazy. You would think a bag would catch somebody's attention, but nope. They're too distracted with stupid stuff. I know somebody reached out to me and offered to pay me to do a YouTube collab, I'm on my way. That day that you hit, the, the very day you hit me up, I am on my way. But yeah, um, oh yeah, fun fact about me. Y'all see this huge 18 wheeler right beside me? Yeah, um, when I'm driving on the highway, I like to steer clear of those things. I like to be as far away from an 18 wheeler as pussy black. I don't like to be anywhere near because I, I've seen way too many movies where 18 wheelers lose control and s completely demolish the little car that's near it. So if like if I see if I see a 18 wheeler pull up beside me, I am um I'm taking off. Yeah, let me speed up a little bit. This person to my right is staring at me. You see that car right there I'm passing? Yeah, they, they just like randomly pulled up right beside me and they were like, 
I can't look that in the camera like that. I'm, I'm, I've got to watch the road since I'm driving. But you guys get the idea. But I've heard a lot of speculation around my fellow associates. Some of them are worried. Some of them are wearing masks and looking ridiculous. Some of them are trying to warn me. Some of them don't care. I am amongst the people who, well, I'm kind of 50-50. Like, I mean, I, I, I take vitamins and I take care of myself. My immune system's pretty high, but I, I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about it on the paranoid people side, everybody at the crazy side, people fighting over toilet paper, for goodness sake, side. But... Personally, outside of all that crazy stuff, I'm not worried about it. Life's going to go on. You can either let this cripple you and cease progression if you were progressing toward anything. Or you can just let life do its thing and continue the everyday grind. You know, I got goals for like... This, the end of this 2020 year and I'm, I'm coming up I'm com I'm heading toward these goals pretty goddamn freaking quick I'm, I'm talking like halfway through the year I'm gonna hit these goals like this is crazy like bless blessings on blessings on blessings like I feel like playing that Big Sean song blessings in the background like that's it's it's great like um but yeah, I, I really w I wish this, I wish the same for a lot of everybody else who are just as hungry as me. You know, entrepreneurs, business savvy people, people who are grinding on this platform like myself. Um, like the other day, I saw a girl on Facebook. She was talking about that. Wow, this quarantine is making my bank account look really nice and one dude grabbed her post and said she sounded dumb as beep wait hold on hold on i got something better she sounded dumb as yeah there we go and like you know it was a, it was a friend of mine that i knew and i had i just it 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 didn't have to be my place, but I decided to shoot him my message and educate him a little bit, you know? Because not all you know is all there is to know. And I didn't know her business, but now is a really good time to have an online business because there's so many people sitting in the house doing nothing but scrolling, eating, um, sexing, and buying things like if there's a there isn't a better time to have an online business than right now you know it's it's kind of funny to me i see a lot of people complaining about oh what am i gonna do? oh what am i gonna do about my bills this month what am i gonna do about my bills next month and then right after they say that you go to the store or you go online and buy two to three times more than what you need. And then right after that, you complain about not being able to buy, not being able to pay your bills. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty big person on common sense. Like, we, I don't even think you need common sense to like, you don't need, even need to put too much thought into this. Like, why not, you know, pay your bills first? And then see if you have extra. It's, it's, it's a B word. Hold on, hold on. Let me, it's coming to me. Wait, wait, it's called budgeting. Ah, ah, budgeting. That's right. It's called budgeting. I'm, you know, I'm, um... I'm all about having a good time and having what I need, but see, even before I moved out, which my parents and some other people didn't really understand, is um, I'm the type of person 
there are people in this world who like to stay two steps ahead of themselves, right? I'm the kind of guy who likes to stay three steps ahead of himself. I like to be three steps ahead. That way, if I trip over a rock and then I slam into a tree in the middle of the road and I'm rolling, I still got one more step. Uh, I'm, I'm not making much sense, but you, you guys get where I'm going with this. But yeah, so far we've killed like 11 minutes. I am almost there. So I think I'm going to take the rest of this time to answer a couple of questions. I don't know why everybody's so concerned about what car I drive, but um, I drive a 1997 Toyota Camry. There you go. Do I live by myself? Yes. I live 100% by myself. I have to. Like, it's not that I don't get along with other people. It's just that some people are a little bit slower about taking responsibilities than others. And if I'm in an environment where people are lazy, oh, I hate lazy people, where people are lazy or or are slow to take responsibility for their half of the portion of the whole that we share, it becomes a serious problem with me. You know, so like, since um, the only person I really trust when it comes to a rooming situation is currently in jail, and the other person I trust doesn't live in the same state as me, I decided to live by myself I am responsible I am um, I'm grinding every day um, I'm in a comfortable yet uncomfortable spot but in a good way so um, that allows me to stay by myself and I choose to keep it that way even though some people have asked if I wanted a roommate um, I yeah I, I, I do want to help you out if if it's kind of like an uncomfortable situation, but if you're not in dire need of a place to stay, I will gladly decline. But I'm coming up on my turn. Um, I've never done a drive with me video today. I mean, I've never done a drive with me video before. Um, this was just something impromptu, just because I wanted to, you know, Get, get something up for you guys. Um, so I guess this is kind of lazy. It is not because I didn't have to do a video in the first place. But this is just, you know, just for the people who actually like to hear what I have to say. Who like to listen, who like to watch. This is just, um, yeah, this is just, it's something. Is, and something is better than nothing. But appreciate you guys for watching. I'm coming up on my turn. Um, the last turn before I park. So you have a nice witness day. And I will see you either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I got a whole vlog on here that I still have to edit. Um, I'm not sure what's going on tomorrow. But if it's a lot of stuff, best believe I'm going to get it on film. Um, I'll holla at you, please. Yeah!